Hello and welcome back, beautiful souls. Today I have an interesting topic to discuss. Why I think circumstances don't matter in the law of assumption. So grab your favorite drink, get cozy, and let's unravel the secrets of manifesting our desires. Picture this. You're on a self-discovery journey, exploring the mysteries of manifesting. You've heard about the law of assumption, but have you ever pondered why circumstances seem to not matter that much? Let's quickly recap the law of assumption. It's the magical art of assuming a state of being or reality to attract exactly that into your life. Picture it like a movie where you take the lead in manifesting your desires. Now here's the juicy twist. Circumstances, those sneaky external factors we love to blame, are like background actors. They're there, but they play a minor role. So imagine you're on a manifesting stage, spotlight on you, and you decide the script of your reality. The law of assumption says that by wholeheartedly believing in a specific outcome, you're practically sending out invitations to that reality to waltz right in. It's like telling the universe, hey, this is what I expect and I'm ready to tango with it. Now the plot thickens with circumstances. Usually we point fingers at them for our situations, blaming the dance floor for our missteps. But guess what? The law of assumption teaches us that circumstances aren't the main act. They're more like supporting actors. Your belief takes center stage and circumstances follow suit, almost like backup dancers following your lead. In simpler terms, it's not about the external factors, but about you, the star of your show, assuming the role you desire. So next time you catch yourself blaming circumstances, remember, you're the choreographer. Now let's delve into a real example, my own journey. When I started consciously manifesting, I was at one of my lowest points, feeling like I had lost everything. Honestly, I didn't believe it would work, but that was a few years ago. In conscious manifesting, nothing truly matters. It's a game of persistence. As humans, we're taught to see our current situation as the basis for the future, manifesting more of the same because our dominant thoughts lie there. The process to manifest your undesired reality is the same as what you truly want. But our brains aren't trained to choose the desired reality every time. How did I shift my reality? I immersed myself in Neville Goddard's teachings, Dolores Cannon and others. I read many books on the topic and started with slow tests to see how it works. And the thing is, once you see it working, you will feel it and you will be filled with joy. So picture this as a mental makeover. I set intentions about myself, like creating a vision board for my inner self. I zoomed in on my self-concept, steering away from the victim mentality highway. It's like redecorating your mental space. Out with the old, in with the empowering. I traced back the breadcrumbs of my undesired manifestations, Sherlock style. Identifying those sneaky thoughts, I didn't just point fingers. I took responsibility. It's like cleaning up your mental clutter and decluttering your manifesting path. I set out goals for myself each day to improve somewhere. A small example would be being a more positive person in general. Because I feel like to attract positivity, you yourself need to be more positive. In conclusion, understanding that circumstances are a creation of your thoughts is key to unlocking the potential of the law of assumption. Embrace the power of belief, persist in your desired reality, and witness the transformation of your life. I really hope you liked today's video, and if you found this helpful, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe for more content, and share it with anyone who needs a positive change in their life. Thanks again, and until next time, keep dreaming, keep visualizing, and keep manifesting.